Welcome to my channel Tech Birds. This is Mojamil Hawk. Today I'm going to educate you about it. Before starting, dear viewers, if you are new to my channel, then please please hit the subscribe button. And if you have already subscribed, thank you ever so much. Let's start. At first, I'm going to explain the idea of network. Suppose there are two computers. They are connected by any medium. They are exchanging data. This is called a computer network. If we add another computer and if we make connections among them, it is also a computer network. In this way, we can form a bigger and bigger computer network by connecting many computers together. Let's define the term computer network. If two or more computers can exchange data among themselves after being connected by any medium, then it is called a computer network. There are lots of computer networks around the world. Let's see some examples. The picture that you can see depicts a very large computer network. Internet can be an example of computer network. Now let's focus on the term topology. The term topology is actually refers to network topology. In short, we call it topology. Network topology refers to how various nodes, devices, and connections on your network are physically or logically arranged in relation to each other. While studying network topology, the term that we get frequently is node. Let's clarify the term node. Any device that performs a particular function in a network is called node. Nodes create, receive, and communicate information and store it or relay it to other nodes. For example, a scanner in a computer network creates images and sends them to a computer, while a router organizes data received from the internet and distributes it to the individual devices within the network. For example, servers, workstations, printers, modems, routers, etc. can be treated as node. I hope you understood the term node. There are two approaches of topology physical topology and logical topology. Physical topology refers to the physical connections and interconnections between nodes and the network, such as the wires, cables, and so forth. Whereas, logical topology is a higher level idea of how the network is set up and illustrates how data flows within a network. Here, I shall discuss about physical topology only. In short, it can be said that network topology is the way a network is arranged. The importance of topology is that the way a network is arranged can make or break network functionality, connectivity, and protection from downtime. Now, let's move to the types of physical topology. There are some topologies like bus topology, star topology, ring or circular topology, tree topology, maze topology, and hybrid topology. And today, I'll discuss about bus topology. What is bus? Bus is a particular vehicle used in our daily life. But here, in our computer's terminology, 
bus indicates a group of wires that carry signals or data from one node to the other node or from one part of the computer to the other parts. Bus topology, as the name suggests, acts as the buses travel and pick their passengers from different assigned points. Similar is the process here. This type of topology is mainly used at local area network or LAN level. Here, different nodes are connected to one central line where nodes are acted as bus stops from where the data is received and passed throughout the central main channel. Bus topology is the simplest kind of topology in which a common bus or cable is used for communication in the network. This cable is called backbone. There is only a single transmission line for all nodes. It transmits the data from one end to another in a single direction. So, it is a multi-point connection and a non-robust topology because if the backbone fails, the network crashes. This network requires less cost and easier to be built. See the figure here. In the figure, you can see a bus topology with a shared backbone cable. Coaxial or twisted pair cables are mainly used to link devices together in bus topology. Here, nodes are connected to the backbone via drop lines. Taps are the connectors while drop lines are the cables connecting the bus with the computer. If end devices are connected to each other in a bus topology, then the number of cables required to connect them is one backbone cable and end drop lines. If end devices are connected to each other in a bus topology, then the number of cables required to connect them is one backbone cable and end drop lines. So if we say that there are 10 computers in the bus topology, then we require one backbone cable or main cable and 10 drop lines and hence 10 taps. As you can see in the figure that there are two terminators at the two end. Terminator is a device attached to the endpoints of a bus network. Typically, it is a resistor placed at the end of a bus to prevent the reflection of signals. The purpose of the terminator is to absorb signals so that they do not reflect back down the line. A very simple figure of bus topology can be drawn like this. Notice the figure and observe that how signals are passed from one computer to the other through the cables. You can also see this example. Suppose PC1 wants to send signal to PC8, so in this way PC1 and send data to PC8. Let's see some advantages and problems with this network topology. Bus topology is good for a small network. It is easy to manage and expand. It is simple to use and install. If a network fails, 
it will not affect other nodes. Less cabling is required and cost efficient to implement. Now see some problems with this topology. If the bus fails, the network will fail. Efficiency is less when nodes are more. A limited number of nodes can connect to the bus due to limited bus length. Security issues and risk are more as messages are broadcast to all nodes. Congestion and traffic on the bus as it is the only source of communication. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to answer the questions like where is network, where is call node, can you give some example of node, where is topology, where is logical topology, where is the central idea of bus topology. Now it's your task to answer the following questions. Question number one. Can you say the importance of topology I mentioned in this video? And question number two. Suppose in the bus network there are 100 nodes. Find how many backbones are there, how many drop lines are there, how many taps are there, how many terminators are there. Please like, comment and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.